You call me family, BBCD. What is up? What is going on with the community? Why is the, this sentiment so bad? And why am I not affected by this? Am I a moon boy? Probably am, but let's talk about that. I've thought about this and there are some factors what I think is contributing to this um, situation. And let's talk about them. The first thing is the emo emotionality. Why are the people so emotional right now? Of course, the bear market is contributing to this. It is on the edge of everything is down and it is like near the bottom. But the other thing that is causing this emotionality is the expectation. And the expectation that was set by the community on the one hand and by Vivi itself. And these expectations, the reality did not meet the expectation. The community had a real big expectation and it hyped this thing really, really up with a $10 OMI and like it is a grail and then was the bot issues and the, bear, the bull market and whatnot and everybody's going crazy and these expectations have been set and a lot of these expectations have been set by the community itself and the problem with this is that the time frame, the time horizon, horizon, because I still believe that this is the best project in, in this space. And to the project side, I will say later something. But it is one of the safest thing. It is basically the Bitcoin of the NFTs. All the other stuff are way more risky. And the expectations that have been set is basically the time horizon is is too short-sighted these things take longer to yield the returns that everybody was crying for and hoping for so that doesn't help of course that um, to keep you emotionally stable and calm and whatnot the side of vivi these expectations vivi has also set some expectations that they have continuously not met these were mainly on the technical side and uh, techno to based on technology and like like features and whatnot these this is also definitely fault of vb and they should have communicated it better and i think they have yeah basically were too enthusiastic about everything so they got ahead of themselves now mitch is there and i think he's going to bring some order into this stuff and also make all this stuff a bit more realistic regarding the time frame but these are from my pers from my perspective not really deal breakers because we have still time to implement these and this is a project that is actively developed and they're working on these features and shit happens like with the with the payout it took forever with the payout and now it was gone for short and it is pro this things these things happen all the time in business and Maybe it is my personal experience that I have with bigger companies that everything can and probably will take longer and way longer than expected. If you are working, when I work with, with like I have few big clients that I work with and there is constantly delays and the reasons for them are like, like, any, anything can happen and anything will happen. Be it the CEO says no, then uh, uh, another manager just forgets it or technical issues, a lot of technical issues where, have, where you have to wait or, and these things happen and I'm basically used to it. The difference here is that I have a one-on-one -on -one 
relationship with these brands and with these companies. And I can like practice my aware, detached patience, I would say. And if I run into my, I, one thing I have to say, I have to know my, my borders, my where's the cutoff, where I say, stop, this isn't working anymore for me. Um, this is what I have to be aware of and what I have to have defined ideally beforehand, but I have to define this some way. And when I run into trouble with the company, I have to say, okay, this is not working for me anymore. Here are the options. And the thing is, I have a one-in-one -one relationship with these companies. So I am the one part and the company is the other part. And we usually find a, a, an agreement, a solution for that problem. And it is not that of a big of a deal. And I can come with my concern and they react to it. Vivi, on the other hand, has a relationship that is one to like a million or like let it be a half a million or whatever. And we have to understand that they don't have the capac capacity to listen to everybody. And so the, the, the communication is more a one way communication and you have to or we have to acknowledge that and to deal with that that is our job and because it's not impo not possible for Vivi to really engage with everyone and I personally think they are doing a very good job engaging with the community <coughs> and taking in the feedback although I don't know how and to what extent they take the feedback in and there is a point that is might or that might be a reason why I am not too affected because I chose to believe that they take this issue seriously. Because it is my experience that I have with bigger companies and what I think they, how they operate. And also it is my decision basically to to focus on that what i can control i can control what they do this is not and basically frankly it is not of none of my business because i am not in charge and i don't make the decisions that they have to make and also i don't know everything they know i know a tiny bit of the picture and that is not all they have to deal with some other stuff that we don't know anything of so it is not my place to to go to the to the company and say hey you have to do it this way um that's not how it works and so i chose to believe that they are doing a good job that they are doing the best that they are that they think is the best what they think is the best for the for the project and for the business and um, I basically have to trust them. And I trust them based also on the, on the stuff that they have delivered already and what, what it, there is to come. This is like basic my decision from my research and from my understanding of the, of the facts. I don't ignore the stuff that they are messing up because they are do mess up stuff. The thing is, in these companies, they there's getting stuff messed up all the time. This is like like guaranteed that shit does not run as smoothly as it is communicated to the outside. This is normal, and so it's basically my decision. Okay, they're doing the best, and um, this will work because they are focusing on the long term, and it is an uncomfortable path regarding to the to the community because the community is destined to be satisfied immediately and wants that, but um, that is, in my opinion, not the reality. I think I am out of focus. Let's check this. Okay. <clears throat> and the third part, I have said this in, in videos before, 
is there is a disconnect of what VV is. I think this is a problem where it gets confused and, and there are gray, zone, gray areas that, that get mixed and, and entangled and, and co-mingled. What it is, I don't know if this is right. Is, it is communicated and it is sometimes the, the, the opinion or the, the, the sentiment that Vivi is a Web3 project. And that is not the case. I've said it in videos before, Vivi is a business. It is a business. And it is a business that uses te these technologies like blockchain and stuff. But it is still a business. And the main business model right now is to sell out their drops and to sell their collectibles. And also with the, with the, the market that is going to be very important later on, this is also their business model and the fact is they are selling out in a bear market in a recession drops of weird black and white rabbits and they're selling this out and gems get purchased their business model is working in conditions that breaks other companies and again it is not a crypto project it is a business that uses crypto this is a difference and i think the community is like because the community is mainly from web3 and crypto and 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 all of that they want to have it like vivi is a web3 project with all the transparency and all the responsibility and whatnot but it isn't it is a business it is a capitalist business with a vision and and uh, with more ideals than other businesses but it is still a business and the business purpose is to generate revenue and to do and grow how they want to grow am i still on focus i don't know i am very dark right now and i think the disconnect of these things are the reason why this is so emotional right now because for me it was always clear it is a business okay they have to do their business stuff and you can't expect from a private owned business to behave like a crypto community um, community generated uh, crypto project to behave like that that does not work because they have the responsibility to 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 grow and run the business sustainably and as as best as they can and they are responsibility if this business fails i don't think that david you or dan will go here and say the community fucked it all up they s would say we fucked it up and yeah it's getting very dark but these are the main points why i don't uh, am as emotional right now as I could be because I see it that way and I also acknowledge that I might be considered a moon boy but yes I see all these things that they are messing up and that is not working right now but it all has a cost and they have to decide to do what is best for their path and their business strategies basically and also they're hiring and they're they're working on it it's like i don't know i'm not worried at all the the when i get worried is when the bull run starts and none of the oup is implemented then i would say oh there is some shit happening because this should happen at least at the time when the bull run starts or when the halving is or whatever like sooner than later but even this at the end if you have a time horizon of 10 years and that is what the business has in my opinion because they're working with marvel have they have a 10-year contract and marvel has done this also in with the with the 
with the films. They started with Iron Man and, and, and this was planned all along. This was the plan over these 10, 15 years where this happened. So you can't expect to be at the end after year two. It could go smooth, more smoothly, okay. I would be fine with that, but I'm not worried at all right now. So control what you can control, which is mostly yourself and what you do. And if you choose to say, this is not for me and they are scamming us, please get out. Because why would you like give someone who ex um, exhibits Sam Bankman freak behavior, why would you give them money? Get out. If you think that's a scam, get out. Simple as that. And come back later, whatever. But don't get stressed and emotional and angry about that. That does not help anyone. Criti criticism and talking about these issues, definitely. But most of the time, these issues are not too much of a concern. It is frustrating sometimes, yes, even for me as a moon boy, but um, I think it's not worth to get yeah, kaput about this. Thanks for watching. It was a long video. I hope it helped a little bit. Peace out.